Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to create a custom block type and how to assign a block in your Drupal website. So let's see, let's see how to create a custom block type. So for creating a custom block type, you have to navigate to the structure, block layout and the block type so here once you move here you can notice that there is a block type called basic block and this block type is created by a uh, drupal core so uh, this is given by drupal basic block it is and next we are going to create a new block type which is uh, going to be d4 drupal and you can give a help description for d4 drupal and uh, if you want to make this block be revisioning, you can make it revisioning. Um, uh, let me enable revisioning here. And next one is uh, if you have a multiple uh, languages, multilingual website. So uh, you, when you want to uh, show the language selector in the creation and edit page of the blog, in that time you you have to enable it. So whenever you create a block, there will be a uh, language selector. So if which language you are selecting, that content will be belonging to that particular language. So here I'm using only English. So we no need to worry about it. So let's save it. And once saved your block type, you have an option to create and manage uh, multiple fields under the manage field menu. So here by default, Drupal provides a body field. Now I am going to create a new field called link here. So uh, which should be link and the title. I'm also giving as a name as link. So once, and this is a cardinality. Cardinality means how many value we can give for this particular field. I'm going to give only one here. So save and save field settings. And this is a help text for link field. If you have any help text, you can mention here. The next one is if the field should be required, you can make it required. Allowed link type means uh, the link field should uh, allow only internal links or external links or both. I'm going to give the both links here. The next one is when you give the link, there will be an option to add a label for that link. Okay, so if you want to disable the link text, you can disable or optional means it will not be required. If it is required means it will be required in the form display in the form. Okay, and uh, if you have any default value, you can give here. And I'm going to save the field. So once you save the field in the manage field, you have to move to the manage form display. So manage form display represents the creation and edit page of the blog. Okay. So in creation and edit page of the blog, how the blog field should be appear. So which field should be at the top, which should be at the next field, or which should be at the end. You can configure all the settings here. So here it is like after body, the link field will be there. So I'm not going to do anything here. And I'm going to move here. And this is the display. So manage display represents how it's going to be a render in the front end. So if you are going to enable a block for anonymous, how it should be in the front end. So those you can configure here, how it should be appear in the website. Okay. So now we successfully created our custom block type. And here you can add a many more view modes here and you can use it in views. So views or wherever you want, you can use it. And that's it about creating a custom block type. And now what we are going to do, now we created a custom block type, we are going to create a content for that block type, okay? For that, you have to go to the custom block library. So here you have to create a new custom block. So add custom block. So this will uh, list all the existing custom block type. Basic block is already available from the code. And D4 Drupal, this is what we created now. I am going to create a blog content here. So I'm going to click it here. And here I'm going to mention a, a title session about custom blog type. 
And here you can give any more description. Let's pick it from the Lorem Ipsum. So, Lorem Ipsum, and this is a link. Let's put triple double words link, and this is text for it. This is Drupal. Okay. So, I'm going to give you a revisioning lock here. Okay. So, this is the first version. Blog. So now we successfully created a block. Okay. Next, what we have to do, we have to assign this block somewhere in your website to make it available in the front end, right? For that, what you have to do, you have to navigate to the block layout. And here you have a link called demonstrate block reason. So you have to click it. So what does it do is that it will showcase the way how it is going to be display in the front end when you are using it in this region, okay? So which means, so when you are using your content in the uh, social board, the content will be up, this going to display in this location or in sidebar, the content will be displayed here, content below, so wherever you want, you can display it here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to display it in the sidebar, okay? So let's place a block here and the block which is created by our service session about custom block type. So I am going to um, place it here and you can restrict the pages. So let's make it only on front. And roles, what does it roles? The block will be visible for one particular rules, okay? So content type, next is content type. So if you want to, uh, display this block on particular content type page, you can do present here. Or if you want to um, display it in a cobbler page, you can uh, present here. And I'm going to save it. So once you save the sidebar, and I'm going to do load the pages. So once when you see the front page, you can see the um, left sidebar which we created, which is uh, displaying here. So I'm going to move to another page. You can notice that that block is not present because we made a restriction to make it display only on the front page, right? That's why it is not available in another pages, okay? So uh, now we successfully created a custom block type and also we created a block under that custom block type and we are saying the block type block in your region, okay? Um, that's it about today's session. Hope everyone liked it. Myself Saranya, and you can uh, find my information here. Um, if you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.